This is a book review of The Soul Stylists by Paolo Hewitt. And what is it about? Six decades of modernism from mods to casuals. So it's a really nice book. It's about 210 odd pages and it's not a flowing book. It's a bit all over the place. I mean, obviously it follows the years. It goes through the years. Starts out obviously 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, but it's snippets of information. So you've got some, you've got some very short bits and you've got some longer bits of memories. Also just about all the various, what was happening. The Crombie symbolised what Ed Harvey, 1948. So it even stretches back further. It's got about Humphrey Littleton, those sort of people. There's a lots about the, the cooler people, the jazz musicians, Archer Street, London's, London dubbed Archer Street. So most like you very rarely hear Archer Street mentioned. Then we'll see there's Ham Yard, the scene, etc. So there's a lot of brilliant references. See all the jazz musicians, mod, everything. And this just covers this also, of course, all the fashion. So jazz culture was an Ivy League culture, Chet Baker or Ivy League. And there's, it's just page after page of just great information. Snippets, subjective snippets, and obviously people's fond memories of the time. And I just think it's a lovely, obviously David Cole here, Georgie Fame. So there's some music, musicians also about Bermuda jackets, Charlie Watts talking about all the various mods, the outlet. And 1960, I was brought up in etc. So it's just also about the mod girls as well. So you've got lots of references to Ready Steady Go presenter Cathy McGowan, of course. And it's just discotheque, Wardour Street, Oxford Street, all the places like Archer Street, Berwick Street, etc. Flamingo, all the places and talking about Guy Stevens. So it's just a re and also of course all the fashions, all the fashion shops, where they got the fashions, which buns, which LPs they got, which singles they would get, what type of hair, and of course changing the original skinhead. People obviously it was changing into the skins, skinheads. And first time I ever saw a skinhead, 1968. So you really I always must admit thought more in the 70s, but of course in London I guess things were as I was obviously out in the, the countryside. Just didn't things took a bit longer to, to eke out into that world. But it's just a brilliant book, and I love reading this because I've lived up in London, worked up in London a lot, and I just love of course it also references other places. It's not just London, but there's a lot of London centric. But there's obviously Northern Soul as well. So there's Cleethorpes, the Wigan Casino, never went to worse places. Watched documentaries and programmes about them, fascinating stuff, but I'd ne never ever just the idea would have been that. But now I do enjoy going up to all those sort of places, but it's just, uh, of course, it's a long way off. And without a car, I haven't got a car, so it's, uh, that's a rely on good old public transport. Uh, yeah, British Rail, we love them. You've got here Soul Boy hairstyles and so on. It's just, just a brilliant book. Totally. Now, some people will look at it and say, ah, oh, I don't, it wasn't, but I found it really enjoyable and it's one of those books i love dipping into I can just pick it up just go back from the boards this page of course like here melody maker vogue and then at the back it's got a lovely record collection selection so you've got like gary jerry mulligan quartet nat king cole ted tad tad dameron charlie parker of course and Thelonious monk and so on and so on the olympics kim weston and so on, and a bibliography at the back as well. So a lot of uh, ones, obviously, you can go and check out some more books. And I just think that's, it's just a really nice little book. Maybe not for everyone, but I just I found it a very good, interesting read. Soul Stylists.